What's up, everybody? It's Gary McCready from HVAC Know It All. Now, we all know what a compressor contact is for, right? It pulls in, the contacts provide power to the compressor. Now, what happens when that set of contacts pull out? When that set of contacts pull out, we get an arc. Very small arc, but that arc creates heat, creates carbon, creates pitting and wear on the contacts. So what you're looking at there is the Emerson Sure Switch. This was designed to combat the wearing and tearing of the average compressor contactor. This is an electronic device. It's got a built-in algorithm that helps reduce the arcing, the pitting, and the carbon buildup. Now, I'm going to install this in my home unit today, and we're just going to run it through a test and check it out. Um, and just so you guys are aware, it comes with a five-year limited warranty. Now, I don't think the manufacturer would put a five-year warranty on something that they didn't trust. Um, it has some other features as well. Um, we have some brownout protection on this. And we can also get the lifetime count of the compressor itself, so the cycles of the compressor. You can see that button down there. It says count. Okay, so we're going to install this in my home unit, and we're going to run it through a couple of tests and, and check it out. It's the Emerson Sure Switch. Let's get to it. The system shut down. Uh, I've already checked for power, so we're good to go there. Um, one thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove the back cover off of the sure switch, and on the back cover we have some mounting holes. So once we remove the contactor there, we're going to have to find some room and uh, mount it in this panel. Now we have lots of room in that panel, and I mean, as you can see, the the back plate's not very big, just probably about the size of a, a three-pole contact or slightly larger. So I'll get this two-pole removed, or single-pole removed, and then we'll find a way to mount it. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, we're all wired up. Um, there at the top, we have our control voltage coming in. Um, down at the bottom here, on the right-hand side, the red and the black wire, that's our line voltage coming in. And then the two wires on the left is the load going out to the compressor and the fan. So we're going to start this up. And we're going to test the compressor out, take a couple amp draws, and uh, we'll test the fan as well. But you can see there that the, uh, the sure switch fits in quite nicely, actually. And I mounted it this way. I mean, some of the, the lettering is upside down, but I mounted it that way because I want it to be closer to the, the line voltage coming in because um, we had a bit of a some slack there on the other wires so that's why I chose to mount it like that so let's uh, power the thing up and check her out we are now up and running 5.8 amps on the compressor 0.8 amps on the condenser fan these are on par before we started so we're pretty good there a couple things I want to show you on the right hand side we got our test button. Now that test button, you press that down for one second without a call for cooling, it will energize um, the sure switch and will start the compressor up for testing functions. We have a couple dip switches there. One is labeled delay and one is labeled brown. They're both set to on. Now what it will do is the delay will have a three minute delay on initial startup or loss of power. That delay will be three minutes, and that's built in for the logic of the sure switch. Now the brown, or brown out, is set to on as well. What will happen there is if your voltage drops to below 180 volts for four seconds, it will cut out compressor operation. That is a great feature to have because you don't want your compressor running at a reduced voltage. It could cause some serious damage to the compressor. So on the far left, we have our count button. And what that does is it counts the cycles of the compressor closest to 100. So it rounds to the nearest 100. Now we're not at that point yet because we just installed it, but by the end of next summer, we should be able to push that button and get a cycle count on the compressor closest to the nearest 100, which is kind of cool because over the lifetime of the unit, you can find out how many times that compressor stopped and started, and uh, that's some good information to have. So. That is the Emerson Sure Switch. It's got a lot of cool features, five-year warranty. It's a great contactor replacement, solid state. 
That's the video for today, guys. You guys work safe. Have a good day and happy HVACing.